Hi, my name is Wayne Riebel with uh, Zoll Medical. I'm here with Jay Mullen from Trinity Ambulance Service, and Jay was one of our uh, initial users of the E-Series in the back of an ambulance and uh, helped us uh, determine what was working and what wasn't. So, uh, Jay, tell us a little bit about what you, what you found uh, different in the E-Series that you really liked. I found that the, uh, the design of the, of the E-Series is more stable for us, much more uh, friendly. I like the fact that you kept uh, the front of the package the same. I was able to turn it on and go right to work on the, on the E-Series. You know, I, I knew exactly where everything was and how to, how to get around. The first trip we took it out was uh, down a cobble-filled road. The road was all, it's an old road, it's all cobble. About 40 miles an hour in the back of an ambulance, hooked up to a patient, and I got a great tracing on a, a 4 lead and a 12 lead EKG. I got a great tracing. That's great. So it yeah. worked real well for it, you. It did. Super. It did. That impressed me. Being able to change colors on the display was nice. Um, having it being color coded so that way um, we could have somebody to look at the monitor and tell us what the blood pressures look for the red part. Tell me what the what the red part is saying. Or being able to change the oscilloscope to different backgrounds and tracing lines and everything. Being able to change that to our weather conditions helped out quite a bit. Well, we had a local fire department come hose the E-Series down to see how it would uh, withstand a, a high pressure washing, if you will. And as you can see, it uh, did a good job of spinning the E-Series across the parking lot into an abutment. But uh, as I went over and hooked it to a simulator, uh, turned the device on, and you can see that a, a couple of times I'll change the, uh, the tri-mode display and it, it truly is easy to read in any environment and uh, we demonstrate that with this video along with it. Taking a pretty good beating from a high pressure fire hose and uh, then charging it up and uh, delivering 120 joules. The obvious occurred and that was the paper got wet. Here we are simulating a drop off the top of a, a fire truck. As you can see the side pocket came off, no big deal. Um, the device is starting to get a little bit beat up but uh, once again uh, we hooked it to a simulator turned it on, adjusted the display for optimum viewing, uh, decided to uh, see what would happen when we charged it up, and uh, sure enough, um, we were able to deliver a shock into the simulator, and you'll see that on the display. You can see the difference that uh, the display makes as you uh, adjust it from black on white, white on black, and to color. Uh, throwing it down the stairs was a bit of a challenge. Um, just kicking it off the top to see what would happen if it uh, tumbled off a stretcher as you were wandering up concrete stairs, which uh, um, happens occasionally. Uh, it flipped down the, the stairway, uh, once again went over, attached a, a simulator to it, and now it's starting to look uh, quite beat up. The roll cage is, is uh, looking a little scuffed and, and nasty, but uh, once again uh, went from monitor to defib. You can see the, the crispness of, of the display uh, in the indoor situation, and that's where the, the, the color display actually works the best. We go to charge, shock, and deliver the energy. Obviously, we got a check recorder message because the paper was still soaked. We use the same device. Here we are in the back of an ambulance. The uh, device is hooked to me, not to a simulator. Uh, we're not trying to shake the camera. That's just how bumpy the road was, and you can see the baseline is just as stable as can be. We then decided to try to run the, the device over. So we had a, a Ford Expedition which weighs close to 6,000 pounds. You can see it dug into the roll bar uh, quite nicely and uh, bent that over. But as we drove over the E-Series, uh, there was no damage whatsoever. We decided to try it without the uh, roll cage. We're getting a little bit uh, confident here. And as you can see, we uh, did that. And once again, no damage because the uh, outer housing of the E-Series is, is beefed up uh, very nicely to withstand uh, EMS abuse. Uh, once again, changing the uh, display and it's quite viewable. Here we are, we tried to run over the E-Series with uh, an ambulance. The problem was the ambulance is not four-wheel drive, so you can see what happens. And it's really not very pretty. Uh, we pushed the E-Series uh, down the driveway. I actually ended up severing the cable because it was caught under the E-Series. Uh, opened the paper drawer, paper flew everywhere. Um, if you could see the bottom of the E-Series uh, when we were done with this, it actually wore a hole uh, through the outer case from the, uh, through the outer housing uh, from the abuse the uh, ambulance gave it, but it was still working. Uh, obviously couldn't attach a simulator to it because we had severed the uh, multifunction cable. 